Hey, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for August 5th. This is a daily tarot reading. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, for real, all right? And this reading is not sign-specific. This is a daily energy of what's to come, perhaps, in the coming days. This is my daily reading for August 5th. Let's just see what comes up. What do we got for August 5th? There could be a lot of interruptions. Just saying on this day, there could be a lot of interruptions. There could be a lot of um, communications going back and forth. Things that you didn't expect. Um, you may hear some things that you don't, that you didn't expect to hear. I feel like there's, it's definitely going to be a day of contemplation. There could be some worry. You know, you may be worried about something that you hear. Um, some sort of mental conflict, you know, by from whatever you hear. Third eye chakra. This is the sixth chakra. I see. This is your intuition. This is inner seeing, your third eye. So you use, this is you seeing something, you know, before it happens. This is your inner knowing. Okay. So. <laughs> so at this time, you may experience some sort of deja vu, you know, in, in a different way. You know, it's, that's just a, a way to say it, but. You know, you may sense something before it happens, or you may have seen something coming. Either way, your intuition is going to be speaking with you, okay? It's going to so listen to it. Um, if you have some questions, close your eyes. Close your eyes and breathe and just concentrate on your breathing and let the answer come to you. Don't try to force it. You have the ability to get the answers that you seek if you can silence yourself. Okay, keep that in mind. It's a very powerful day of listening. Listen to your intuition because you're probably going to be receiving a message if you are open to receiving it. Okay, so what do we got for August 5th? Happiness. Hard work. Hmm. Ooh, well, you know, this, somebody may not be receiving good news. And I, it's funny, but I, I can't even remember what came out when I first started this reading. And that's how fast it came out. Had something to do with not receiving good news. <laughs> I think it did anyway. Queen of Swords. Hmm. Somebody is giving up. Okay, with that Four of Swords reversed, it's like maybe they're done taking a break. They're ready to put in some effort into a relationship. They could be dealing with this individual who is very assertive, very brash. This person knows what they want and, and you know, is very authentic and expects, you know, the same in return. Looks as though we have an opportunity for a passionate new start here. This is a match. This is um, this is a fresh start. There's some sort of confusion here. This is being somebody. This is being held back by somebody that is negative. This is a negative influence right here. But this could also be not good news arriving. You know, somebody says something or gives a message or sends a message or tells you something. It's not good news. The moon reversed. Yeah, something is about to be revealed. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed. The Empress. Will that make sense? This is, this is a beautiful, abundant, big hearted person who has the ability to grow anything. She's a, she's a creator. She creates and she delivers. 
She's a mother. She takes care of business. She doesn't chase. She's beautiful. She's abundant. She's glowing. This person is glowing. She has multiple options. Multiple. Some this is it's a very fertile time. It's a it's a it's it's a very fertile day. Okay, so be prepared. I mean, if you were looking to get pregnant today, would be a good day. <laughs> if you're trying to get pregnant or whatever, if you go out and you have sex, you could absolutely get pregnant. You could get somebody pregnant. Just saying. Um. <laughs> Ooh, five of swords. Ah. Okay. So I think we have somebody here that has been sensing. They have been sensing that somebody is watching them. It looks like somebody is watching them. Somebody is sensing that somebody is about to give birth, give birth to a new life. Somebody is about to have a new partner. Somebody is about to have a new partner. We have a new relationship that is about to begin here and it is a new one. I feel as though we have somebody here that is ready to put in some sort of effort. They've been working really, 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 really hard to um, come out of their negative state of mind, perhaps. I feel like we have somebody here that is looking at a very beautiful individual who, you know, is absolutely glowing. I mean, this person is glowing. This person is abundant. This person is... is very comfortable very very comfortable with who she is um somebody is definitely watching and it feels like we got somebody here that is very smug we have somebody over here that is very smug and just doesn't have a whole lot of morals i feel like this person has been through a state of, a state of confusion this person may have addictions they have made some wrong bad choices in their life I feel like this person wants to go go back. He, this person wants to be taken care of. I feel like this person um, is watching this person create a new life. I'm going to have to get a card to go with this one. This person is watching this person grow. Watching this person grow into a new grow into a new person we have a we have somebody here that is has been working really really hard this is meditate as well really 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 hard to it's like release release a relationship somebody this is because this is this is a completion a lot of people don't mention it but it really is so i think that we have some some bitter individual here this person is not happy this person is not happy this person is resentful she's not happy at all take a look at her face let me take a look at it so we have somebody here that is not really happy with the lies not happy with the deception not happy with being pushed away you know so i think that somebody has been pushed away because we have this very smug egotistical individual here who wanted to play games you know wanted to you know explore their options and now it's like now they realize who can take care of them so anyway um this person is not happy though this person is ha not happy at all and this person right here is like doesn't care who they hurt this person doesn't care who they hurt it's about getting all the attention that they can get but now this person sees 
that there's a new opportunity, that there's an opportunity to, it's like rekindle, rekindle a flame or something like that. What is this Queen of Swords right here? This Queen of Swords, she's not she's not happy. She's pissed. She's pissed. She's like, T you tell me the fucking truth. Talk to me. Talk to me. Tell me the truth. If you don't got anything good to say, then don't say anything at all. You know what I mean? King of Wands. Leaving behind... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius may be leaving somebody behind. We have somebody that is, is this guy is turning his back, turning his back and looking at a new relationship turning his back on putting in effort into some sort of negative situation. Yeah, he's headed out. We have somebody that is headed out. And he's not wasting a minute. He's getting out. He's getting out. He's leaving behind an insecure situation that's not stable and it's not solid. It's not. You know, it's cold. It's not. Helpful. You know, it's nothing that he wants. Going his own. Somebody is deciding to go their own way. I can take care of myself. I don't need to do this. This is this is the Empress. Okay, we have the we have the Empress here who can take care of herself. I know this is all over the place. Today I have been all over the place. Um I don't know. Is there some sort of reconciliation here? It feels like there's some sort of reconciliation. Somebody wants to go back. It's like they, they now they see a person's abundance. They see a person's, you know, ability to take care of themselves. I don't need another person. I mean, the Empress, she don't need another person to complete her. She can take care of herself. So we do, we do have somebody here that it's almost like that's my match. It's like they realize that's my match, you know. I want, I, I want to go after that. That's my match. I got to go get that person. That's my match. And this person is like, I don't need anybody. I don't need anybody. I can take care of myself. I can, I'm going to go follow my dreams. I'm going to explore my options. Now we have somebody that's watching that wants to come back. They've been ghosted. They left somebody behind. Somebody's been left behind. They hadn't been telling the truth. And now here comes the truth. It's like the truth can no longer be hidden because this person has so many options. And now they got this new partner. So, because there's a new fresh start here. There's a new fresh start for somebody. And they're letting go of the wrong one because this is somebody who's not very well suited. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It looks like we have somebody here that is headed out of a relationship that made them, that exhausted them. I mean, this is the Four of Swords. It caused them health issues. It caused them mental exhaustion. It caused them stress. It feels like somebody is deciding, you know, they were working really hard to hide the truth, to hide their pain, to hide their, you know, it was like the blind leading the blind. It was like to hide their discomfort. Okay. And now we have somebody down here. I mean, the Queen of Swords, she's angry. She's bitter. I'd rather be alone. It's like this person, it feels like they're headed towards, because the Queen of Swords can symbolize an ex. So it's like this person wants to go back to their ex. Oh, my God. So I feel as though we, we have somebody here that 
has been watching somebody grow, watching somebody create, watching somebody, you know, become, you know, watching somebody become themselves, you know, grow into the person that they were meant to be. It's like they've been watching. They have been watching. And now they, they see an opportunity. They see an opportunity to start over. It's like this is a great opportunity for me to swoop in and make my pitch. But this woman or person is very bitter. This person is very upset. This person is guarded. I feel as though we have somebody here that is hoping that this individual who knows the, her value, or I think it's a her, I do, knows her value, knows her worth, you know, will give them another chance. I feel like this person it has been left behind or ghosted by somebody else or they have decided to leave somebody else behind to honor their truth. There's been something that was below the surface that was hidden that is about to be revealed. I think we have an independent person who is doing quite, quite, quite well. This person is absolutely glowing. I'm not kidding. With the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress card. This person is beautiful. This person is grateful. This person is enjoying the finer things in life. I mean, this person has been, done a lot of healing. This person is very comfortable with who they are. Um, and now we got somebody here that just, you know, thinks they can come back. It's like this person thinks they can just come back. So I think that you, you know... This person is hoping for a chance. They're hoping for another chance. They're hoping to rekindle a flame. I don't know who this reading is for. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Uh, we have Aquarius. Um, Pisces, Cancer. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So anyway, somebody is making a move and they're moving fast. It's like this is, uh, I'm going I mean, that's what this is. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. So it's like there's, they're just taking action. So somebody is really making a decision to go after what they are passionate about. They, get, they see an opportunity. It's like they get this new vision. They decide to take this new approach and go after this beautiful individual who is very abundant. This person is abundant. She's loving. She's kind. She has multiple options. She knows her value. She knows her worth. And they see it as an opportunity for wish fulfillment. And they're about to take action. And that is what I got. Let's get one of these. Somebody is about to take action. They're going to jump. It's like they're going to jump on the chance. They're going to jump. And so somebody is probably going to receive a message. They're probably going to receive a message from somebody that they didn't expect. And I think it's going to bring about some conflict. That's why it's not, that's why it's not good news. That's why it's like, oh God, this is going to, you ghosted me. You left me behind. And that's why she's bitter. You know, she's pissed. She's like, you, what, what, you know, what, are you serious? You, why? Would I even consider giving you another chance? I mean, the Queen of Swords, she's like, Buddy, get on your goddamn knees. Sorry. I am that bitter Queen of Swords. You get on your knees and you block your Facebook. You might talk. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Yes, they have been. And I think that mask is going to get ripped off. Whether they're ripping it off themselves or the false sense of security that they've been hanging on to rips it off for them. I don't know, but we have, we have somebody here who has let ego and pride get in the way of their wish fulfillment. 
and they've been they've been making a lot of bad choices in their life and it's like now I think that they come to some sort of realization <sighs> anyhow we have this independent person we're going to take this a little bit different now this just came to me we have this independent person who is enjoying life this person knows their value this person is glowing this person is very comfortable and just very self-sufficient you know in every way this person who knows their value who doesn't chase has a new partner has a new opportunity here and this this person could lead to wish fulfillment this could be a dream come true this is a wish being granted so somebody's wish is about to be granted. And it's after somebody has put in a lot of hard work to heal. And But there's still some bitterness here. There is absolutely still some bitterness with the Queen of Swords. There's bitterness. There is resent. I don't trust anybody. But it's like this person is strong. This person has the strength to overcome this woman's or this person's bitterness. So I feel like we have somebody here that is taking action and they're about to face this individual and put in effort to build a relationship. So whether this is somebody new or somebody from the past, I think that there is something that is about to be revealed that could start something new. Okay, because she did gives birth to a new life. The, the seeds get planted and it could grow into something. It could grow into, you know, a dream come true. So anyway, that's what I have. I think, I think August 5th, there is an opportunity to... You know, I keep on thinking start over. I don't know why. Start over. I keep, I, I, I really do. Um, somebody is hoping to come back. Or they're hoping that they will be given a chance. <coughs> Excuse me. I couldn't hold that one in. So be prepared, get prepared. I feel like we have somebody here that is taking action and they're going to be, it's almost like a face off. It is. It's almost like a face off. Good luck.